boy came to me and said, hey, you want to run? I said, hey, come on, get your shoes on, I'll get a horse. And I went out the first two times we went, we went 10, 15 miles. I had a horse and they ran. This is the horse we're going to be using in this Levi riding tie race. We're going to start out and I'm going to run and Debbie's going to ride and then she'll ride for five minutes and then she'll tie up the horse. And when I come along, I'll get on the horse and start timing from there for five minutes. Ooh. This is going to be probably the hottest race they've ever had in this Levi riding tie. Probably the best competition ever. My name is John Sherrod. That's my partner, Gabe Sanchez. This is our little Arab mayor. Together we make Team 19. Gabe is working course now, trying to find out something about the terrain and the heat. How'd it go, Pardon? Oh, yeah. Good, good. Kind of tough out there, man. It's kind of rough. Hot. I'm Mary Tiscornia, and I'm running uh, my third ride and tie. And I'm doing it because it's fun. You can't say it's any one type of person who would enter a, a race like this. It's kind of hard to say why we're here. We're kind of the challenge. We're trying to, I guess there is an incentive with the money. I have to sum it up and say most of us are crazy to run in this heat like it is. We've been out looking at the course, and it looks pretty rough this year. It's going to be a real warm. You have to run through a river that's about a foot deep. You have to go up several hills that are quite steep. Plus, um, the rocks and thistles to get in your socks and normally just obstacles that you wouldn't usually have in a cross-country race. I want to welcome all of you who are here, whatever your connection with the third annual Levi's Ride and Tie. The race is 30 miles. We'll start at the end of the, of the landing field. This is a change. From then on, the trail is going to be well marked and there'll be marshals roughly every half mile along the way. They'll be there to, to help you if any of you have problems or your horses have problems. Six vet checks. Once the race has started, the race is in the hands of the vet. The vets are in charge. If, if they say you've got to wait, you've got to wait. If they say you're out of the race, you're out of the race. Yeah, I'm Jim Steer, the uh, head veterinarian for the ride. Uh, we're examining these horses very carefully as we do in, in all endurance riding. Well, some people enter a race like this just because it's something to finish it, to complete the race. Other people see it as a challenge. It's, it's a system where a person is working with their horse. It's not quite like the typical endurance race where it's all riding, but this is a riding and running kind of race. I was on the winning team last year, and the same team's going in again this year. Uh, possibilities of winning the race are the same as last year. Uh, the competition is better, but it's the smoothest team I feel that'll win the race. I entered the race because it sounded as though it would be an interesting uh, event. No, I'm in this race because, like, uh, John and I got one thing in common. You know, he's got a horse and he likes horses pretty good, and uh, I have a couple of horses. The main reason that uh, I was getting into this race was to 
it's just kind of a challenge. We've done it last year, and uh, I just mainly want to see if I can better my time a little bit. And it, even with the boys, it's going to be anybody's race because there's so many more factors. And although the climbs aren't steep, the heat is really hot. Vet checks, the way we've set these up for this ride, we'll have six vet checks, and the horses will come in, and if the horse's pulse and respiration is 72 per minute or below, if the horse is sound and shows the, its willingness to go on, and those that have lots of energy reserves, it'll go right on out of the vet check. If they don't pass, if the pulse and respiration is above 72, then they'll be held 10 minutes and come back for recheck. 20 minutes if they don't pass, they'll come back for a recheck. At 30 minutes if they don't pass, they're out. You gotta be in condition for it. Like, uh, if you're from an area that's pretty hot, you know, you can pretty well take it, you know. But, like, if you're like some of these runners that's from Montana or somewhere else where it's kind of cool, then it's gonna catch up to them, you know. I can feel the difference here. It's yeah. a different kind of heat. There's a couple of little climbs, and the climbs aren't that bad. The, the main thing is like going over rocks. You don't want to charge your horse through places where they can pull shoes, pull a tendon. Um, there's a lot of places where the trail hasn't been used that much, and there's a lot of places where it's just cow tracks. And I mean, it's not like it's an astroturf track, and you can twist an ankle. Well, if your horse is barreling through and he's tired and it's hot, you can twist, or the horse twists, and you can pull the horse up lane.
teams are here. Okay, who has okay, four teams? Four was a tie. Right. Does anybody have 14? I'm just going to do it. Here's another Dr. Ridgeway. Okay, I'm out of film, so don't get my red, white, and blue going. Does anyone just have one? 23 is going to be Okay, tie. That kind of constant pounding and up and down. Why, uh, if you aren't physically in shape on you know in the legs, feet, and even in the arms, I mean, it just carries all over the body, even in the head. You know, it just it's 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 a, it's a, it's that kind of a tough course. <laughs> down there, my leg hurts. You hurt yourself? Yeah. You all right? You all right? Hurt bad? No, no. You bring them over? Here we go. It's number four. Make sure you get the time in. Do what? You put it right in. You really like that. You got the water buffalo. What is it? We're pushing her through kind of fast. We're putting her right on the borderline, you know, like 72, 72. Where last year she'd be 56. This weather is really fantastic. I can't believe it. Yesterday we couldn't move. Uh, try and get him going. Somebody, uh, I'll, I'll take you with him. I'll take Get behind him and make the horse go. Do what oh. it She'll go once, she'll go one time, the next time she'll be, <laughs> you know, five in a row. But her pulse is real good. How do you, how do you feel? Stand up and just let the horse stand. Okay, pulse 17. Okay. Respiration 17. Oh, right. Okay, right up here. Dogger the whole way, you know. Okay. Like through here and then take a kind of yeah, foot in the
tying, um, we thought went back to some of the stories of the Old West where, say, a rancher would be held up and um, the horses scattered and he was able to get one horse and with uh, his partner um, take turns riding and tying over a distance. This would mean that one of the two people would, would ride for a certain distance, tie the horse and continue on foot, and his teammate would come up, untie the horse, and ride past, and it would be kind of a leapfrogging motion. came to me and said, hey, we want to run. I said, hey, come on, get your shoes on, I'll get a horse. And I went out the first two times they went. We went 10, 15 miles. I had a horse and they ran. Mm -hmm. 